So I watched a YouTube video today. It was uh, some visitors doing best street food, best Polish street food in Krakow. And uh, wow, like 70,000 views already. And I got to think, I was really disappointed when I watched it. It featured a donut, one of our local bagels, a Zapakansky French bread pizza, and then, then they went to a couple of restaurants. And I'm disappointed because people are going to watch that and think that's what Krakow is all about for street food. And it's so much, so much more interesting than that. But first thing, Krakow is a very reasonably priced city. So you can go to restaurants here and have fantastic food, especially Polish food, very reasonable prices. So if you're traveling on a budget, you don't need to only focus on street food. You can you can go to restaurants and eat very, very well, very economically priced food. But that said, we've got some fantastic street food locations. And as a resident here two and a half years, I want to show you some of the ones that I like the most and why I think we're very spoiled for some great, great street food choices. Not just Polish food, but international food, but I'll feature some Polish ones as well. Um, and I'm gonna start here at probably number one, Judah Food Market, the most famous one here in the center of Kazimierz. This didn't feature in the video at all that I watched, which is a crime because it's the most famous one. It's about 10 or so food trucks here, some Polish ones, some international ones. Uh, all, of them are, all of them are good. I have filmed in here a bunch of times already. So, if you've been watching my videos, you know you know what's here. Belgian fries. The Belgian fries, these are in a lot of the street food corners. Chimney cake bakery. Which are these long, uh, this is why they're called chimney cakes. Pan crumpy, I definitely want to try. Baked potatoes. Two sizes. The larger size is huge. So really good value. This is pretty famous, Andrus. And it's the home of Magzanka, which is like a pulled pork sandwich. This is not just Polish, this is something from Krakow. On the other side, we've got a Zapikanki truck, but we're near Platz Novi, which has a ton of Zapikanki places. So I'm going to show that in a little while. Have an Asian place over in the corner there. The pierogi, yep, you can get that in all the Polish restaurants, but if you prefer to do it street food style, this is the place to come. Boogie truck is home to one of my favorite burgers in Krakow. Probably in my top three places for a burger. I featured this before, the Gorgonzola burger. It's killer. The tempura truck here is fabulous. They do tempura. Really, some do some killer shrimp. Bought for here a few times, but today I think I'm gonna go for the dog because these guys do pretty fabulous, pretty fabulous hot dogs. So are you ready? Are you ready for the mac and cheese hot dog? <laughs> How about that? In my other videos, I've shown you the Magzanka, I've shown you the burgers, I've shown you the potato. They're all great, but I've never filmed this before. And I've always known this is worthy of a call out on a video. The Mac and Cheese Hot Dog 25 Zwati. 
between four and five dollars. That is one. That is one elevated hot dog. Okay, so the one thing they got right in the video was to talk about Zapikanki and to come to Platz Novi, also in Kazimierz, just down the block from Judah Street Market. So this building behind me, although Platz Novi is New Square, it's anything but new. It uh, dates back a century or more at least. But this is the place, all of these little uh, places here, all serving Zapikanki. I know the Poles don't like to say, but it's something akin to a French bread pizza. Polish fast food from the communist time. What I didn't like about the video is they showed a really crappy Zapikanki, one that was just covered with chives. You can get them here like fully loaded with cheeses and meats and all sorts of stuff way more interesting than they actually showed and all for like five dollars or less so time to go get one the zapakaki the english translation is casserole it's not a casserole it's like a french bread pizza and you can get them in half size or whole size prices in Zwate, very reasonable. I placed my order just in time. <laughs> before, before a gang arrived to put their order in. So for the pricely sum of 14 zloty, $3, we got the butcher's meats with vegetables and fried onions. Now that, now that my friends, that's a Zapikanki, not that feeble one they showed on their video. This bad boy is what we're talking about. And the hen party is in full swing. So hard to film and eat a fully loaded sappy kanki with one hand, but I'll give it a go. Fully loaded meat and vegetables and onion bits, 14 zloty. We have a winner. We have a winner. Really good. Stupid one. She's the blood one. Yes, I can tell. Yes. She's feeding the birds. Oh, it's very kind. But you're all eating the same zapakanki. Yes. And she's the blonde one. And she's still the blonde one. And she's she's the blonde one. It's your friends. They were my. They were my friends a minute ago. You're very kind. You're very kind. <laughs> okay, Plas Novi. I think everybody will know where this is when they've had a visit to Krakow because it's pretty famous. But now, my favorite burger in the city, and probably the item I've ordered more than anything else while I've been living here. And it's just off Plas Novi. So. Go past Alchemia on the corner here, Hotel Estera, easy to see, and then literally right opposite Hotel Estera. What you're looking for is this place. Okay. This is featured in our videos. We haven't made a full video about it. Look at it, it doesn't even have a fancy name. Beef Burger Bar, right? Doesn't sound very interesting, does it? 
menus on the wall outside. We got one in English here. And the one that they are most well known for trying to find it is this bad boy, Ogron Glack. Now, I don't know if you're a fan of Gorgonzola or not, I absolutely am. But this has got mushrooms, sun dried tomatoes, provolone cheese, and it is huge. 35 Zlotty Burger, but it is a gourmet burger. It is sensational. And we order this far more, far more often than we should. Hello. Hi. Can I get an au grand lac? Au grand lac, okay. Thank oh. you. To go. In the bag? In, oh no, I'm gonna eat it here, outside. Okay. Yes. 35. Thank you. This is what we're talking about, people. Au grand, it's, it looks like au crack lac, but it's au grand, au grand grac. How did they miss this on that video? It's the tastiest goddamn burger. Mm. Here I am just to the side of Bonya Park. And this is my local street food spot. Bezo Grandec Tropical Food Truck Park. This would be about 25, 30 minutes walk from Old Town. What's nice about it is it's got a beach. But come and hang out, come and hang out at a beach, not far from Old Town. And it's a nice walk here along Buonya. So, yep, it's a food truck park, but it's, also got a really nice bar tropical tropical style and this is pretty much Nina and I's local but it's nice to come here and uh, feel a million miles removed from everyday city life beach theme is on the other side of the bar also so this is a place not many people know about because it's a little bit out the way but very walkable but as promised we got a bunch of food trucks sappy <laughs> kanki so what we got Krakowski burger. Asia to India, Rama. Hi. Sorted, sorted Asian, Chinese, Thai, Lassi, samosas. Now you're talking. Zappy Kanki, as our friend showed us just a second ago. This is what we're talking about. Yep, sir. And the ever popular Fritki Belgiski, Beliski, Belgian fries. Find these in multiple locations. Excellent fries, especially the um, 
somewhere in there fries with fries with goulash sauce so oh, it's a top one definitely recommended pan crack let's figure out what pan crack is I can't guess what's pan crack oh there we go it's in English crepes crepes and waffles in the morning in the morning I'm making waffles pizza pizza look at this a food truck with the proper wood-fired grill inside it wow hot work hot work but great looking great looking pizza hot dog and macaroni Moroccan this is something different a Moroccan place falafel looks like the bad boy here Well, this is the first Moroccan place I've seen in Krakow. Last but not least, had to be ice cream, didn't it? But this is ice cream rolls and rolls. And we got perfect timing. Oh yeah. Not bad, right, for my local joint. Definitely a place that you would all find. Many people seem to know about a visit. Hello. Hello. Worth checking out. Has to be done. Already. And see why I like it. Whee. Of all my choices, I went for the udon noodles. Medium spiced, mighty, mighty tasty. Satisfies that Asian spot. Final stop on the street food tour. We're at Halau, Hawa Tagova. It could be only one thing, it's a legend. Open every night from 8 p.m. till 3 a.m. in the morning. We're just a little piss past 8 o'clock, already there's a line. Blue Nicer Kilbasa van. Look at the line. This is the stuff of legend. The best kielbasa in Krakow. Oh, not Sunday, not Sunday, I think. But this is what it's all about. Halatagova, incidentally, not far from Old Town. Short walk down Wiel Pole Street. Come here on a Sunday, and this is a huge flea market. But at a night time, every true Krakowian will tell you. You're talking about kielbasa this is where you gotta come that video of a st polish street food they sent you to some restaurant in old town not even not even on the street uh, 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 uh. if you go there big mistake big big mistake if you're gonna take kielbasa you gotta come to the original gotta come to the legend 
the blue van just ask any Krakowian about the blue van they're gonna tell you where to come and I'm gonna get in line with these good people oh <laughs> I don't really need to talk, do I? I mean, uh, we're watching, we're watching a craftsman at work, and a legend. So no, my friends, with your street food video, kielbasa is not from that little restaurant in the old town. Kielbasa is from the blue Nisa van. Kielbaska is your podhala hawatagova. Hawatagova. Can be a two hour wait here sometimes. Two hour wait here sometimes for sausages. Look at the beautiful little van. Wood fired. It's really kind of simple, yeah? What did I, what I, if you follow my Facebook group when we talk about the different restaurants, what I really like about food is simple food done excellently well. I'm not a big fan of fancy garnish decorations. It's just give me great ingredients prepared really well. And that's what we're talking about. Look, it's just a simple sausage, sausage, kielbasa and a roll. But all of these people are lining up. There's some reason why they're lining up for it. They know. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm making a vlog. Can I ask you how how is the sausage? How is it? <laughs> as good as good as as good as it's legend it's simple it's, simple it's, it's, it's the first. was it worth waiting for yeah i'm eating it so yes <laughs> Delicious, mm -hmm. crispy, <laughs> sweet. It's kind of sweet. Thanks, sweet and crispy. Have a good one. Okay. Full of flavor. I'm not a kielbasa expert, so I can't tell you if they're the best in Krakow. But we can only we can only guess by 30 to 40 people waiting that they know something. Jolly good. I have a feeling the longer the night goes on, the longer the line. Maybe viewers, if you're here at 2 a.m. in the morning, you can make some video for us. <laughs> 